Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make a giant pom-pom for all of your pom-pom needs. We're going to start by making a pom-pom maker. Now this is my favorite way to make a pom-pom because you're totally in control of the size. You're going to need a piece of cardboard and something circular to taste. I am using this amazing bottle of bubbly. Using champagne is a good way to make a giant pom-pom so you know it's going to be the size of mine. Um, also using really fluffy yarn will help. So to start, we're going to trace two circles on the cardboard. They do not have to be perfect. Um, they just have to be the same size. Next, you're going to need a coin. I'm using a quarter because I, this is the size that I found works best for me. And you're gonna put it in the middle of your circle and trace on, around it. Repeat for the other circle. And then you're going to make two angled lines from the center of the small circle to the border of the large circle. Now we're going to cut these out and cut out the center so you have two C shapes. Now cutting these out takes a second, so let me explain the science of pom-poms. The outer circle is going to dictate how large your pom-pom is, and the inner circle dictates how fluffy and full the pom-pom is as you're wrapping the yarn. So you might have to play around to figure out what is going to give you the look that you want. Once you have your two shapes cut out, you're going to line up the openings and put them together. Then take your yarn and begin to wrap it around the two cardboard circles. The opening is what makes this super fast and easy so you aren't threading an end through just a small hole as you go. So hold the free end of the yarn and then take the long end and begin wrapping it around the two pieces of cardboard. Wrap it evenly all around the entire C shape until you cannot possibly fit any more yarn in the center circle portion. Make sure that you still have a bit of yarn left to tie off your pom-pom or attach it to whatever you will be using it for. Now you're gonna take your scissors and starting at the opening of the C shape, slip the lower blade of the scissors in between the cardboard pieces and begin to snip through the loops of the yarn. Be sure to keep the lower blade in the cardboard as you go around the entire circle. Continue to cut apart your pom-pom. Then you're going to separate the two pieces of cardboard just slightly, just to create a bit of space. Then you're going to take your length of yarn and wrap it in between the two circles a couple of times, pulling super tight until it's squished all of those yarns securely together. Once you've wrapped it a couple times, tie it in a secure knot, and then you can pull off your cardboard. Now this is the last step. You are going to use your hands and fingers to fluff it out a bit and then take your scissors and trim off any bits that are a little longer than the rest. I find I always have a few just to make it all even and round all the way around. And there you have it, a huge giant pom-pom. Um, let me know if you have any questions and be sure to follow me on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye!